Hey guys, how's it going? It's Dilmer again and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you again for joining the channel. I really appreciate your time. I also wanted to invite you to subscribe to the channel by clicking on the button below and hitting subscribe because it's really going to help me in improving and bringing you a lot more content. So today I'm going to continue the AR Foundation videos. I want to do an experiment with the lightweight rendering pipeline and see if it works with the AR Foundation. So let's jump into Unity and see if it's going to work. Thank you guys. All right, guys, so let me show you what I'm going to be doing in this video, which is to determine if LWRP is going to work out of the box with ARKit and AR Foundation. So let's go ahead and get it started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the file that I had for the packages on the previous video. Go ahead and do that. So I'm going to pull the Unity AR Foundation Essentials, which is also a project that I'm making available through GitHub. So I'm going to pull everything that I need for augmented reality. So let me just pull all of these packages and I'm going to go back to the project that I have, which is the Unity AR Procedural Generation. I also have that project in GitHub, so I'll put that in the link in the description. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paste it here and this is going to be everything that we need as far as ARKit and AR Foundation is concerned. So let me go back. So it should install everything that it needs. And right after this, we're going to install the LWRP. So just for those who don't know, the lightweight rendering pipeline didn't work for mobile before, or it didn't work for augmented reality either. And there is a branch that I found on the AR foundation examples, and looks like they, they made it work and I wanted to see if I could make it work without it, just with, you know, what's out of the box. So that's what we're going to do right now is just go ahead and install the LWRP after we have the components for augmented reality. So I'm going to go into the package manager and I'm going to do that next. Let's go ahead and search for or look for the LWRP, which is going to be, let me see, let me go down and here we go. So I'm going to install the version that is supported by or verified by this version. So I'm running Unity 2018.1.5 F1 as of today, June 16. So in the version that says that it's verified is 5.7.2. So let's go ahead and install that. And it should take just a couple of seconds to get it installed. So the reason why I hesitate to tell you the version is because Unity is making a lot of changes on the scriptable pipeline. And I know that because I was following them and I get emails like 10 times a day. So I know that they're making a lot of changes. So it's really important that you look at the specific version that I'm telling you. And if you're, you know, if you want to use a newer version, you're more than welcome to do that. Just know that this is the one that I did the example with. All right, so it's importing a script, so it should be done here in a few more seconds. And and the other thing that I that I did too is the structures that I'm that I'm creating procedurally. They now can be adjusted in decimal places, meaning that it does accepts a flow. So I can go very low on the size, and and that is really important in augmented reality because we want to go smaller. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make the structure a lot smaller so that we can see it when I run it on my iPhone. So on this video, we're just going to get a render and then see how it looks on the phone. And if that works, I'm going to call it successful. And then on the next one, we're going to be parameterizing these procedural structures and we're going to be placing them in augmented reality. All right, so it looks like everything installed successfully. And I want to make sure that it, it did work. So I'm going to create a new folder here. And this one is just going to be called settings. And then let me just make this a little bigger so you guys can see. And then I'm going to right click on this area. I'm going to go down to rendering, lightweight rendering pipeline. And then I'm going to select the pipeline asset. And I'm just going to give it that same name. Awesome. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to associate that with the settings. So we're going to go into build settings and then player settings. I'm going to close build settings. And here I'm going to look for graphics and I'm going to click on this little dot and then associate the new asset that we created. And yes, we're going to see kind of a purple color here, pink purple. And let me go ahead and fix that. So we're going to go into the ground 
And the reason why that is that color is because this has the standard, basically the standard material associated with it, the standard shader. So I'm going to select the one that we need, which is going to be the lightweight render pipeline. I'm going to select the lid, and you're going to see that, that it's going to be now fixed. So then th the next thing that I need to fix is the grid. So if you know, if you notice, the grid is all incorrect as well. The cool thing about the grid, the way that I build it, is that you, as soon as you type, it's going to try to search what I type for. So if I search, if I search for light, weight, render, pipeline, and then lit, it's going to find that shader and then apply it. So this is very, very dynamic when it comes to that. You can also change the size. And let's give it a second here, and there we go. So everything is working, and, and then it's looking great. So let's see if we can get the augmented reality components at it. So as far as the rendering pipeline goes, everything is working. So I don't know if it's going to work when we run it on the phone. So that's going to be the next test. But before we do that, I want to change some of the sizing and also add some of the XR components. So first, let's add the XR components. So I'm going to right click on this area, go to XR, and we're going to add an AR session. Awesome. And then we're also going to right click again, XR, add an XR session origin. And then I'm going to remove the default camera because we're going to use the camera from the AR experience. And I'm just going to size everything correctly here. There we go. And these uh, structures are giant, so we need to make them a lot smaller. So that's the next thing that I'm going to do. I'm also going to remove the post-processing volume. I don't need that. I'm going to leave the light. I think that it's fine. And also the ground. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be playing with the grid just for a few seconds here. And I'm going to make it a lot smaller. So uh, as far as like the width, I want to go very, very small, 0.1. The height, I'm also going to go 0.1. And that's the beauty about procedural generation is that I can change everything here through parameters. And then we're also going to go on 0.1 on that side. I'm also going to make the height a little smaller. I think we can do something like that. Excellent. And then I think the structure, the, the offset, it's way too big. So let me go ahead and change the offset here. I'm also going to change it on Z. And we can go closer and see how that is looking. Let me make it a li little smaller on Y. I think, that, I think that works. I think I'm going to go bigger on X. There we go. And I think that, that looks great. So the cool thing is I'm using local coordinate system on this. So if I were to move this forward a little bit, you will see that that also get, is get, getting adjusted, meaning that the structure is still gets procedural generated. Then I have a little issue with the grid. Let me see if I can fix that. If I cannot fix it, I'm okay. it's okay. I just want to make sure that this is rendering. Let me go ahead and go. Let me go ahead and change the change this back to zero. There we go. And let me move the whole thing one more time. And then we can regenerate it and see if it fixes it. If it doesn't fix it, it's okay. Okay, so it looks like it's it's not gonna work. With, uh, with this grid line, but I'm going to, I don't think I need it for now. We can just go ahead and say on selection that we're gonna use it, otherwise, there we go. Otherwise it's not gonna show. So for this example, I just wanna know that it's going to render. And in fact, we can probably go back a little bit more. We can go something like that, I think works. And I could go a little lower on the height. There we go. All right, I think, I think I'm happy with this. Let's go ahead and try it out and see if it's gonna build. So I have everything that I need to be able to render it and build it. So I'm gonna go into build settings and we are selecting iOS because we're gonna be building on iOS. And I'm gonna click on add open scene so that it adds the current scene that we have. The next thing that I'm gonna do is I need to change a few things on player settings before we continue. So the app name, I'm just gonna make it AR prod. And then on the default company, I'll just make it my company name. The version, we're going to start at 1.000. And then we're going to also change the same thing here. I'm just going to say dealmergames.com. And this is actually going to be AR Prog. I'm going to say that the build number is going to be the same as the version number. Let me see what else we need to change in here. 
We also need to tell it what how we're going to use the camera so that we can use it for ARKit. We're just going to say ARK usage. Or you can say for ARK usage. For ARK usage. And we're also going to need to change this architecture to ARM64 because that it's going to be required by one of the plugins. And I think everything else looks good. And then let's start at version 11 because that's the minimum that it will require us to build it with. Okay, so I think everything looks good. I'm going to close out of this. I'm going to click on File, Build Settings, and we're going to just go ahead and build it. I'm going to just name it Proc, and then hit Save. And this is just going to take a few seconds here. I'll just go ahead and let it run, and then I'll just resume the video in just a few seconds. All right, so it looks like it finished building, so let's go ahead and open it up. And I'm going to open up with Xcode Beta. So let me go into my applications, double click on Xcode Beta to open it. And then I'm just going to select it. And I already have my phone connected, so it shows up on there, this drop down. I also need to go into Unity iPhone, signing in capabilities, and assign my profile or my team. There we go. And I'm just going to hit play and see if this builds in if it works as far as the rendering is concerned. So we're looking for LWRP to be working. All right, so it's running and installing on my device. So let's cross our fingers and see if this is going to work. So it should be launching here on my phone in a few seconds. There we go. So I should be able to see the logo now. And I see the logo. And let's see, I can see, I can see the structure but I can't really see anything in my in my room where I'm doing this demonstration from. So I think the structures are working fine, but the background is not working fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back into Unity and see what else we need to do. All right, guys. So I was looking through the Air Foundation samples, and it looks like Unity has been making changes to a branch. This branch supports 2019.1 with 2.1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to download these and see what we need in order for make in order to make this work. So I'm going to go ahead and clone it. And let me just go ahead and do that. I already had it cloned, but I had it in a different directory. So let me make sure that I remove a directory that I always use for examples like this. So it's going to go in, say, remove everything from temp. And I'm just going to create temp. Let's just go into temp, and then this is going to be basically what we do for the experimentation. OK, so I'm just going to clone that repo. And then we're going to be pulling this branch. So let me make sure that I have the branch name. OK, and it should be done here in a second. So I think what Unity did is they created a specific materials for us to work with when we're using LWRP. So let me see and see if we can figure it out. All right, and let me just go ahead and clone or actually check out that branch. All right, and I think we should be good. Let me make sure that everything got pulled correctly. All right, looks like it did. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a new version of Unity. And let me go ahead and open up that project. And let me go into add. I'm going to add that project. And we should be able to go to temp. And just hit open. There we go. And we should be able to open it up. We should close this one. If it doesn't, it's OK. We'll have three versions running. And it's resolving packages. So what I'm hoping to be able to do is copy some of the assets that are on this new project and paste them into the other one. So let's just see how long this is going to take. So while that is running, let me go ahead and look at some of these components. So LWRP support. And I think it's just mainly shaders that they added. They also have an asset for the background. And there we go. And I think this is all we this is all we're gonna need. I was basically reading through an article that they posted, and let me see if I can find it. Yep. And they'll tell us what we need to do, which is if we go 
if we go up in here, we can see that they have all of these different components in the LWRP support, which is what we need. And then we're just going to follow these instructions just to make sure that we we get everything looking the way that we need to. Okay, so it's importing everything. So we're going to need to change the camera background. Looks like we need to associate an asset that they have in their project. Then we need to basically add a couple of different components, LWRP before camera render, and then lightweight additional camera data. data. And there we go, all right, and okay. And as you, as you can see, I haven't done this before, so I, I don't know if it's gonna work, but we'll try to make it work. Okay, so I think that's all important. So while that is running, I think we can just go ahead and Let's see, let's go into that directory. So I'm gonna go into personal games temp. And let me just look at some of the assets that we're gonna be basically copying over. Get a new directory here. And let's see, let's give it a few seconds. There we go. LWRP support. And then we're gonna go in if they did it correctly, we should be able to just copy. I hope they didn't put anything outside of that folder. And there we go. Okay, yeah, let's go into the LWRP support. And I'm just going to copy everything, paste it in here. And if they did everything correctly, I should be. Let me see if they have any materials that we'll need. So none of the ones that they had. Let's see. Because they were mentioning here ARK LWRP material. All right, it's okay. We'll we'll figure it out. So let me go back into our project, which is going to be the Unity AR and then assets. And then in here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag and drop that folder. All right, and then we're going to go back into that project. Let me just make sure we follow the instructions. So here's our project and. I believe I'm not going to need the settings that we added previously, but I know that we'll need, for sure, we'll need a rendering asset. So here we go. So you must change your whole project to use LWRP, which, which is what we did. Okay, create a, okay, so we did that. So we should be okay. So now what we'll need to do is we'll need to locate the camera, which is what we're going to do. And let me make sure that I pull the right example. So I'm going to close out of this. I don't need this one for now. And then I don't need this one either. And this is the one that we're working on. So let's go ahead and focus on this project. Okay, it's compiling and importing. And looks like we have a few errors. And this is complaining about the typo namespace name LWRP doesn't exist in the let's see what let's see what's happening here. Let's see if we can figure it out. And so it doesn't like the that it doesn't have let's see Unity engine. So what I'm gonna do, let me let me check a few things before we do that. Let me look at that temp. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into games and then the temp. And let's go ahead and let's go ahead and open it up. Okay, so there we go. So this is the new project that they said that it was working. So what I want to do is look at a couple of these dependencies. So they're using, okay, I see. They're using some of these components. Let me make sure that I pull the, the version that they're using. So I'm gonna use these two and I think everything else should be okay. okay let's also grab Shader Graph. And okay, let me just go ahead and copy. I'm gonna copy these. Uh, let me just copy these three. All right, let's go back into our project, and which is gonna be the AR. Awesome. And I'm gonna look at the dependencies here, just to make sure. And I just want to compare before I paste anything. So, a couple of things that I noticed. I noticed that we don't have the core implementation. So. And then this is also a different version. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave 5.7.2. And if it doesn't work, we can go back in and add the other one. So I'm just going to let me go ahead and comment this one out. OK, and then just hit save. 
and it doesn't like that, so we'll just put it in a new, there we go. Let's go back into Unity, and let's wait until it installs the new, so I think some of these errors come from not having the core rendering pipeline, which is the one that we just added here, the render pipelines, that core, and it's a different version than the one that we have, so let's see if that works. If not, we'll add the same version. Resolving packages, and let's see, it's compiling now. Now it's re-importing the shaders. And we still have issues with this. So let's go ahead and add. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have the same version. And make sure that everything matches there. All right, 5.6.1. Let's let it resolve those packages again and reinstall. And it should be done here in a few seconds. So there we go. Importing. If it, if it doesn't work, I'm going to close out of Unity, reopen Unity. Sometimes that fixes the issues. And there we go. Now it's re importing the shaders. And I know this is a lot. A lot of it is repetitive, but it's more of a, you know, researching and see if things work. And like always, no, nothing works the first time. There we go. So awesome. So we don't have any more errors, which is great. So we fixed that issue. The other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the ground because that is very misleading. Awesome. And then let me see why we're not seeing anything as far as the materials. Okay, that's, that's okay. Looks like we're using the right pipeline, but we're not seeing anything. That's okay. Let's follow the instructions that Unity is providing. So then the next thing that we need to do is, you know what I'm going to do before we keep going is I'm going to remove the asset that we created. Let's go under settings, remove the this pipeline asset and recreate it because we downgraded the light, lightweight rendering pipeline. There we go. And now we can go into Go ahead and go into build settings and then player settings and reattach it. Graphics. And then we're gonna there we go. So I knew that was the problem because things should at least be rendering. Alright, so that looks good. So we're good there. Now what I'm gonna do is I need to go ahead and look at the basically the fixes that they have. So they're saying locate the air camera, which is the one that we have under the session origin. And let's just focus on, I'm going to resize the inspector. And then they're saying that introduces a new co concept of custom rendering asset, which let's see if we have, because I haven't, I haven't had to do that before. Oh, it looks like we, yeah, we have it. Awesome. And then we're going to basically associate the asset that they provided, which is going to be that one. That's cool. All right. And we have that check. And let me see. Okay, awesome. So we did all that. Finally, the custom rendering asset allows you to do more than just change the material that is used in the rendering background. In this case, it does change the material that is used, but it also adds some helper components on the camera. Let me see if it did add those components. But it also adds some helper components on the camera that will allow you to hook into the... Okay, excellent. And I don't believe I... Let's see, I don't believe I see that. I s we go back into the camera and then LW, there we go. So we're gonna need the LWRP before camera render, which I just added. And then we also need the lightweight additional camera data. And to be honest, guys, I don't know what I'm doing. I know that it's making some changes so that this works. So I'm, go I'm not gonna claim that I know what Unity did because I, I have no idea. All I know is that they're hooking into the rendering pipeline and making it work for AR. All right, and I don't see these options, but I'm not gonna worry about it. So I guess things are compiling and things are working. And there we go, and I think we did all that. So now the next thing that we need to look at, let's see, LW support folder contains the shaders. It contains the asset. Let's look at that asset before we keep going, just like they are stating there we go and then we can look at the materials it looks like that it's working fine AR camera manager I don't know that I need to do anything there just yet because that it didn't 
it didn't tell us to do anything there and okay looks like that is that is good and if you want to take advantage of the shader graph you'll need to make sure that you're using a specific version all right so i think um i think we're good so the the other thing that i i'm gonna i'm gonna run it and see if this works see what this gives us if not we're gonna look at all the other components that they have because they also have a material here that we might need to we might need to use they also have the background which that ha that has a you know when it has that color it kind of worries me a little bit and i think everything i think everything else looks good here so what i'm going to do is let's go ahead and build it and see what we what we get this time and i'm just going to have it be the same name and then i'm just going to hit a pen replace And we're just going to wait until it finish building. All right, guys, so this is running now. Let's see if it works this time. So it should be pulling here in my phone in just a second. Looks like we can now see the Unity logo and this is awesome it's working holy cow the structure is moving away from me but i think it's i think this is fine it's because i haven't i haven't really set any plane detection or anything else but this is working let me go ahead and, and get closer so i'm gonna call it this i'm gonna call it good and i'm gonna be i'm gonna say that this is successful thank you guys all right, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I really appreciate your time. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Also, be sure to check out GameDev.net because they have amazing resources for game developers. Either you're starting out or you're an advanced game developer, they have resources for you. Also, find me on Patreon.com where I'm basically posting information about what I'm doing behind the scenes, early access to source code, and a lot more information about my game development journey. So check it out and thank you, guys.